Um, so what we got to do is go to our Cognito service and we have this bad boy set up for sign up. We just got to create another one now called public um, verify async async uh, verify account, which will take a username, which is a string and a code, which is also a string. Um, I'll get into why it's a string soon, but a few people are probably like, hey, why is not code a number? I'll tell you real soon. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's really interesting. Well, not that interesting, but anyways. So we got this function created. Um, so let's create the params, const params. And then in this param, we're taking the username. And then that is equal to the username over here. And then... Um, let me think sign up verify it's the code okay so um we definitely need username but this has to be capital the way um they do it and the way it's not syntax highlighting because there's no u here so we got to do the client id as usual so this dot client ID and then we got to pass the confirmation code which is the code and then um, the password sorry no there is no password it is the secret hash Ooh, secret remember so we go this dot generate hash with the username Cool. So now we got the client ID, the confirmation code, the secret hash, and the username as parameters. So now all we got to go and do is um, put this in a try catch, go up here and do const um, data is equal to await um, this dot cognito identity um, dot confirm sign up. This will pass in the params, and then we're going to make this a promise. We're going to make this return a promise. Um, let's console log the data. Oh, and we've seen from the bottom here how we console log the data that was returned from Cognito. But yeah, so we're going to console log the data, and then we're going to return true if it's successful, and then console log the error error and then return false if there is a problem um, cool this is verify account so now we can go down here um, to verify and we'll fix that real soon um, const um, user name and code from the request um, so we do a request.body and then we create the cognito instance. So const const cognito is equal to new cognito service. And then over here we can do cognito um, dot, I forget what we named it. It's verify account, um, verify account, which takes in a username and a code and then um, then we get the success whether it was successful or not so if if success then we um, return a status code of 200 and then we end this uh, the response else we respond with a status code of 500 dot end Cool. So we go up here. Um, username was expecting that. Okay. Username. Cool. So we save that. And then we save this over here. Um, so let's see if this compiles correctly. Yeah. So port 3000. Okay. Cool. So now let's take this code over here and let's go to Postman and create a new um, local host. Um, let's do auth, but it's verify. And then 
in the it's a post request and in the body we need to add the username and the code so we're going to add the code over here pass it as a string and then the username is this so then we go user username which is that send that status code of 200 Woo! it went through so now we go back to cognito and if we're lucky over here uh, account status is unconfirmed let's give that a quick refresh and it's confirmed sweet so that means now we can log in using our credentials if it was unconfirmed and you tried to log in which is what we're going to build next it will return um it won't return a successful response so let's quickly build out the the login portion of, of cognito so let's go here oops one too many so public um, async sign in user and then we'll take a username which is of type string and a password which is of type string and return a promise which is of type boolean uh, make sure the colons are here so it knows it's a return type so everything has params or parameters and over here we're going to take the username the password um, and the secret hash secret hash you know so it's, it is what it is so we're gonna first put the auth flow of um, what we selected if you remember it is the user we did that checkbox for user password um, auth and then over here we always have to pass the client id this dot client id and then um, we're going to pass the auth parameters auth parameters and this is an object which will be taken a username of type with the variable username password password and then the secret hash hash um, and then we got to generate this hash using the username cool um, so we got the parameters so now let's use the cognito service cool so this dot cognito identity dot so initiate auth initiate auth with the params and then we return the promise um, initiate in cool um, try make this into a try catch throw this into the try catch and then cons data is equal to that and let's console log the data uh, and return return true else we console log the error and then we return false cool so now we got to use this service which is a sign in sign in user so now we go here we got verify account last thing we got to fill in is the sign in user portion of things so we go here and then we make a cognito a new instance of the cognito service and then we do cognito um, dot sign in user which will take in the username and password and uh, we do promise chaining success Okay, there shouldn't be a space there. And then we do the same thing where we, if success, then voila, result.status of 200 and else result.status.500. Um,
cool this this is this is coming along really well so we save that that puppy and then we get some more errors but that's fine let's figure this out um, cannot find password and cannot find username oh I got extracted from the body so const um, username password request.body and we save that and then bada bing bada boom all right so now let's um let's copy actually let's not copy this let's make a new post request to localhost um auth sign in at 3000 and then we're gonna pass in some body data which is the username which will be of some string and password which will be password one two three dollar sign if i'm not mistaken so let's I forget the username so let's take this um, and toss it in here and uh yeah password seems correct cool now if we run this and hit send with the username and password let's do that and we go back here and here we go we print out the tokens for this user which we did in the cognito service right here so this is printing out all the access tokens that you need so it prints out your access token your refresh token for when your access token is not valid any anymore you can get a new one and your id token which contains all your information